Morning guys, welcome back to the off-grid cabin build vlog here in North Idaho. We're starting a new project today. You're probably wondering, what about the well? The well is on hold because we don't have the equipment to actually finish it. So we gotta wait for the equipment, but there's other things we can do and while we're waiting for the trusses, right? If you've been following the channel, you know that we're waiting on our trusses, but they should be here pretty soon. Today, I wanna give you a little peek here at what we're doing. Bam, baby, look at that. That's right, we're gonna start the plumbing today, guys. Do a series of videos on plumbing. This, of course, is our temporary off-grid bathroom. We're not doing plumbing like we did in there. If you haven't seen the video about that, you should check it out. It's actually pretty cool. It was never intended to be permanent though, right? We've got a hot water shower, we've got a washing machine, and we've got a flushing toilet all inside that tent right there. So you probably want to check out that video. Link down in the description. Today, we're starting on the plumbing. Have I ever done this before? Nope. But we had a plan. Started off using this book right here and this book right here. And we put together a PDF for the inspector to check out. So we sent him three pictures. One right here, just kind of giving him the context of our house, where the septic tank is, you know, where the sewer is going to come out of the stem wall, how far apart that is, things like that. Then we showed him the inside of the house, where the kitchen sink's gonna go, where the bathroom is, right, where the washing machine is gonna go in the house. Then our piping diagram. I took pictures from Home Depot and put them in the PDF, different colored lines for different size pipe. And I took every fitting that I was gonna use, I put a label to it so that he could check it all out and see if I was doing it right. Well, there was a couple revisions, but we finally got it down. He said, okay, that's good. We can do it. So we're here, guys. We're gonna start plumbing this up. Putting it on paper is a little bit different than actually putting it together. So let's see how it goes. Come on, Seth. Want to go to work? Let's go to work. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> hey, buddy. You ready to go to work? You ready to um, drill a massive hole in our brand new floor? Actually, it makes me kind of nervous. <laughs> Hopefully we measured right. I think we did measure right. It just makes me nervous because we worked so hard on this floor. He got some dust in his nose. What'd you do? <laughs> what do you think your frog friend's doing today, huh? Think he's swimming in the pond? Hey. Hey, you. Three legged friend came and visited. We got a three legged dog that comes around. We don't know who owns it. The neighbor doesn't know. It's just a dog. Comes around with three legs. He's really calm, doesn't bark, doesn't do nothing really. He's just like walks in, eats some of Tuck's food, and then leaves. So I don't know. But Tux doesn't even bark at him. Like uh he does all the other animals in the in the forest here. So I think they might have some kind of special relationship. All right, what do we got in here? We're gonna need, mm, got a new hole saw. Two new hole saws. Huh, we're gonna need this guy here soon, and that guy. All right, so right here is where the tub is gonna go. <clears throat> the tub is supposed to be 30 inches, all right? So we've got a line right here, marking 30 inches. There'll be a cutout right here that's six by 12 inches for the drain for the tub. And yep, unfortunately, there's a floor joist right here we'll have to deal with when we get to it. Then from the edge of the tub to the toilet, um, 15 inches minimum, 18 inches recommended. So we've got 18 inches here. And right here is where we're going to be drilling our hole. And it is 12 and a half inches from the wall. 12 and a half because it's supposed to be 12 inches from the wall, but you're going to have sheetrock on there as well. So um we'll have space there for sheetrock and then over here is the vanity that will be a 36 inch vanity so we've got it marked out there at 36 and a half for that so we'll have a space next to the toilet over here we've got um 26 basically 25 yeah 26 inches roughly from for this side of the toilet, which will be enough space there for a small wastebasket as well. 
or a toilet paper holder stand or something like that. This is a really inexpensive Harbor Freight. This way? Nope, the other way. Yeah, so really inexpensive Harbor Freight cutting kit here. Check this out right here while she's putting that together. Look how shallow that thing is. Like, you can't even cut through a two by four. I don't know why they didn't just spend a little bit of extra money and make it so that it actually cut through a two by four. Right, I mean, this kit was like half the price of this whole thing, right? Of one of these, right? This is like twice as much as the whole, that whole kit. Ooh. I don't know that I'm the right one to be doing this. That's the same. It doesn't matter who does it. This is the spot right there. You do it. <sighs> Scary. I drew the dot, so. So I need this to be on the dot, is what you're saying? Put it on the dot. Right there. Yep. Okay. Go. You sure? Yep. <laughs> it'll it'll pop through when it's done there, so keep going, huh? yeah, just be ready for it to come through. Oh. 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 I think you're gonna have to take a turn, Marty. I'll take a turn. Marty's turn. <laughs> did some muscle. There we go. <gasps> nice. We got a big hole in our floor. Hello. That's where the that's where the black gold goes through. That's where the pooper. <laughs> Will it fit? That's the key. That's the biggest hole saw we had. Oh, it just fits. Look at that. Ooh, snug. Perfect, man. Cool. That's like that's a good fit. If we could get it back out it'd be even better. So this is the uh, four to three inch closet transition thing. So it's gonna go down in like that. And um, we'll have to, we'll have to glue this together all the way down. Then we'll go down in there. We'll mark in the floor joist where we're gonna cut. Then we'll drill the hole for this thing through the floor joist. Yeah, let's glue this together. Sometimes these guys are really hard to open like this one. Pair of channel locks. If you don't have them and you're going out someplace, it might be good just to bring them with you because you might not get that thing open. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, don't drip it on the floor, Marty. It's some cardboard or something, huh? Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Just a little bit. Got on your pants. Whew. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so lesson learned. Don't use that much. Need a rag or something. I do need a rag or something. Clean this up a little bit because put way too much on there. Lesson learned. What if that gets on your skin? I don't know. Maybe you grow a third eye. I don't know. Hopefully nothing bad. So we're gonna end we're gonna go ahead and cut this hole here for the tub as well. That way we can get a light down in there. We have a light that we can run down. Ugh. Powered by the power of the sun. All right, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and cut it, huh? Not too bad. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Hmm. Fancy. All right, so we're gonna pre-fit some of this stuff together. Um, let's just see here. This is gonna go like this, right here. And what's cool is, if you look right here, most of you guys already know this, but there are lines on here. 
so that when you're fitting stuff together, you can line them up, right? So it's perfectly at a 90 degree angle. So basically the main three inch line is gonna run this direction and the toilet is going to connect into it just like that. So we're gonna to need to drill a hole through the floor joist to accommodate the pipe that is going to connect this part here to this part over here. But we're gonna glue this together now so that it'll be easier to put on there when we get down there. And we're gonna learn our lesson and hopefully not put too much on it this time. Okay. Oh, well, look at that, it pushes back out. Hold it back in there for a little bit. Okay. It goes this way, this way for sure. Yep. So we'll put it on there, twist it into place and hold it there. Perfect. All right, man, that looks good. I'm it. No ooey gooey's inside, running all over the place. Pretty clean. We got the vent hole cut. We got the toilet flange set. It's time to go down into the crawl space. We'll mark out where we need to cut through that floor joist. I'll take you with me. We'll see how it works. All right, let's, let's go down in the crawl space. Oh wow, we can see really good down here. I thought it would be way darker. It's really damp down here. I think really damp. I'm surprised. Huh, the ground is, and it's not muddy, but it's, you can tell the moisture kind of comes up through the soil. All right, so we got it all marked. I gotta push this thing back out. Wow. Dude. So shaken up. I know, that's so good, man. Rattled. Look at that. That's really good. Thanks. It's awesome. Now, what were you saying about cleaning this off? Yeah, so um, Red Poppy Ranch said he was a professional service plumber. He said that one of the main issues with new construction plumbing is not cleaning the burrs off of the pipe well enough. Oh, really? And so that can cause clogs, hair gets wrapped up in them and stuff like that. Because it... They leave this part. Yeah, but on the inside, like look at look at this side here. Oh, look right here. Yeah, see all that inside stuff? We want to make sure we clean all that off the best we can. And that'll help us in years to come. <laughs> yeah, because some people in this family have long hair. Yeah. Someone like some people. Some people. <laughs> We've got our five and a half inch piece of pipe. It's gonna go through here. And it's going to connect to here. Yeah, but you know what? Man, that ain't that ain't right at all. Huh. That's not even close to being right, Jules. Why? Well, I don't know why. But how in the world did I get five and a half? I thought it was three and a half. Huh. Something's crazy. Can I see the tape measure? No? Hmm. We gotta measure again. Probably gonna have to have her cut us a new piece, cause... I don't know, I measured it way wrong. All right, so, okay, here. We've got three inches plus Plus what? Oh, that's five and a half. Huh, well I need eight and a half inches. All right, so we're ready here. <clears throat> well, uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I think it's gonna set up fast and I've gotta have it all, all right. All right, it can't be like all messed up. So we'll give it a go here. That's the worst thing that could happen. We gotta cut it out. All right, you ready, Jules? Yeah. Okay, is that gonna fit in there? It'll fit, huh? Let's see. Then, get it to just the right level. 
right there. Got the quarter inch bubble on the bubble. We'll hold it there for a second. So we got it glued in right there. And um, bubble at the quarter inch mark. Yeah, right about there. Just to make sure that we've got the angle right there with like that green label is. Got that angle about right. And then I just stuck this in there. It's just dry fit right here to make sure that we're pointing in the right direction. Wanna go right down there. We got a little rain delay, guys, so I figured I'd show you what was in this package. Sent here from Chris from Florida. Let's see what Chris sent us here, guys. Pretty cool stuff. We already opened it up, but check it out, dude. Bam, that is so nice. Thank you very much. I don't have one of these, and so this is gonna come in handy. I'll actually use it today in our plumbing project. What else we got here? We got a brand new Ryobi battery. Oh, wow. That nice. is cool. That's really nice. Yeah. Is it 3 amp or 1 amp? 1.5 amp hour. And we've got a jellyfish lamp. It's cool. Wait, yeah, you can see it. Go ahead and open it up. Is it battery operated? What else we got? Oh. Oh, Dad. Dad. It's not. It's a bunch of smaller things inside. It's, it's not? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. Let's see. Oh, what is, what's in there then? It's okay. a pencil. pencil. Oh, I think it's just regular pencils. Oh, wow. Oh, cool, man. This. All kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. I really thought huh. it was a jellyfish. So did I. Me too. It's cool. Yep, different Ew. bits. Pencil. That's bits. a cool one. Hmm. Ooh, a star bit. 30, 20. Nice. That's so nice, man. Thank you so much. All kinds of cool stuff. Huh. All right, let me show you what else you got here. I'm thinking Chris is from Indonesia because we've got we've got Indonesian coffee. This is good. It's a really sweet coffee uh, milk blend. It's good. I love it. And we've got um, some Indonesian noodles here called Indomie. So we've got instant noodles, more instant noodles over here, Indomie brand. And, oh, and these guys right here. Check this out, Southern. Yeah. All kinds of packages Ooh. of spices for making curry, for yeah. making, um, yeah, rawan, and sambal goreng, and making, soto ayam. Yep, soto oh, cool. ayam. What else we got in here? Oh, grab that bag, please. Rendang. Uh, nasi kuni. That's good, too. It's all good stuff here, guys. Thank you very much, Chris. Let's wait for the rain to quit, and we'll get back onto our plumbing project. You ready, Marty? Ready. There we go. We're feeding Marty a 10-foot ten 10-foot <gasps> piece. Three inch pipe. Fill the corner. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Hi. Where are you? How is it? How is it down there? It's good. It's nice and cool. It's sun, It's sunny and hot up here now. On the outside, here's where the four inch is going to come into the house or come out, right? So we're going to dig a little bit here, right here is where we stubbed out the four inch from the um, septic tank. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dig that back out so when he comes out, he can see it. And then we'll dig this down a little bit, make it all pretty so we can connect it up here. Guys, it's time to bust to bust through the wall. Oh, I'm tired from all that shoveling. All right, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Cool, man. Huh. Well, guys, we are making a pretty good progress here. Let me jump down in the crawl hole, crawl space, 
show you where we are. So we've got the toilet that comes down right there, then the vanity, we come across to the washing machine comes in. This will continue down this way, 90 down that way. And then right here, we've got that four inch piece coming in through the stem wall from the outside. Kitchen sink will be right up in here. Just cut the hole for the kitchen sink. Here's the hole for the drain right there. Let me come out here and show you what we've got going on with the four inch sewer line here. <sighs> All right. So we've got it dug up from what we had stubbed out right here. This is just duct taped together just to hold it in place. And then it goes in evenly spaced all the way around there with that um, styrofoam. So that goes through, it'll need to be cut off and then tied into the three inch line. But that's gonna have to wait until tomorrow. If you guys wanna see what else we're doing here on our homestead, there is a video right over here that you might like to go and check out. Hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling. And I'll see you right over there in just a second.